Uh, in relation to cycling tips, I'm more than happy to offer what I can in, re in that regard. Before saying anything though, uh, I do think that right now inside our cities and provinces uh, that we still don't have enough cycling infrastructure. We're, we're still behind. We do have to catch up to other world cities and places in order to have safe infrastructure. And so until then, um, some of my tips have to do with that. Secondly, we have speed limits that are far too high, especially for communities, residential, uh, and the urban settings, and those have to be lowered. And even if they are lowered, uh, we still find a lot of drivers are still uh, exceeding the speed limit, and there does seem to be limited enforcement of that. And I guess the only other point I want to make is right now our present laws have very little deterrence to aggressive and distracted driving behavior, and you should be realizing that when you're on your bike and you're on your road is that right now we have a very limited deterrent system to bad driving. So my three tips, number one, first and foremostly, especially if you're a new cyclist or you're going to a new destination, plan your route. Take a look what your route's going to be, what's safe for you, what fits your riding style. Look for the bike lanes, the sharrows, whatever you need, the trails, to get to where you wanna go safely, avoid the danger zone. So plan your route in advance. Uh, the other aspect, especially in urban settings, be vigilant for those cars that are stopped with people in it. The dooring is very infrequent. Uh, those doors open quickly. There's limited time to react. So make sure you have good brakes and you're ready to brake when necessary. And if you can, to take a look at which cars have recently pulled over to the side. And that's regardless if you're in a bike lane or not. The other thing is the dreaded right hook. Many vehicles are doing the right hook even across the bike lanes. So be vigilant to see what that car is going to do. Expect the unexpected when you can and be ready to take evasive action if necessary. The other portion is to be respectful. Number three, to your other cyclists, use your hand signals, use your voice, use your bell where necessary so that you can let them know where you're going, when you're slowing down, when you're making your turn so that everybody can enjoy the same uh, cycling uh, safety as you do. Those are my tips. Ride safely. See you out there. Take care.